What's up guys, my name is Kyle White, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I got Michael here with me today and we're going to talk about how push-ups can potentially cap your gains. Michael here was doing 100 push-ups a day, uh, ran into some shoulder pain, something I hear a lot as a physical therapist. Guys are so focused on their chest and, and not so much on other parts of the body that they, they begin to wear out those shoulder structures. Uh, we kind of get tight pecs and too many push ex pushing exercises kind of gets us a muscle imbalance. Not that we're weak in our back or our scapular muscles, but we're out of balance compared to our pecs and we begin to smash those anterior structures of the shoulders and it leads to pain. So Michael, tell us a little bit about how you first started feeling the pain and what you were doing. Uh, so I first started noticing my pain back probably a couple weeks ago when I was doing push-ups. It wasn't nothing severely that I didn't think of. And more the more I went to the gym and tried to do bench press, incline, um, and more shoulder workouts, it kind of started hurting me worse. And so I was like, well, maybe I should slow down and do my exercises. And that pain never went away. Yeah. So would you say you were focusing on more bench, chest exercises? Yes, I would say I was focusing more on bench and chest exercises just because some fact what guy doesn't want to have a bragging rights on a PR on bench press. Exactly. Exactly. And Michael, Michael's really strong. Michael pushes a lot of weight. And so that's a lot of pressure on our shoulders. So just a little bit of imbalance as far as, you know, the inside of that joint capsule can make a big difference and lead to some pain. Let's talk about ways that Michael can improve his strategy toward making gains and uh, different exercises that he can work in to prevent that shoulder pain and prevent that impingement. All right, so we talked about how doing too many push-ups, too many push exercises can cause pain in that shoulder. We know that. But let's talk about how we can change Michael's push-up routine. He wants to supplement his workouts with push-ups. So the better way to do that and not cap and not plateau on his muscle growth, his hypertrophy, and his strength is to do three to four sets to failure instead of just doing 100 push-ups. Michael's big, Michael's strong. He's strong for even his weight. So 100 push-ups isn't going to be enough to get him to where he wants to be in his, his muscle growth journey. And so a lot of guys, like we mentioned, will forget about scapular strength, rotator cuff strength. If a rotator cuff's not strong, all these pushing exercises, that humerus is not going to set correctly in the shoulder girdle and it's going to lead to pain. It's going to lead to that impingement. So instead of just doing push-ups, we're going to get Michael to add in some prone T's and Y's. This is a great exercise that you can do at home. Michael's just laying on his stomach here and he's kind of going through both of these exercises. You can kind of see his back muscles firing, his back muscles working. Great scapular stability. And we're going to get him to, every time he does a push-up supplement, we're going to get him to do these exercises with it. And so that we're not getting too out of balance, I'm also going to encourage Michael to do a push-pull day combined. Maybe do chest and back in the same day, see how that does for him. And then, you know, we don't want to plateau. If we're having pain, we're not going to make gains. So we've got to have balance. You know, you may want to focus on your bench, but you can't focus too much because you're going to wear out that shoulder and then eventually it's just going to hurt you in the long run. All right, so we mentioned uh, Michael being possibly over tight in his pecs. And if you look at somebody like LeBron who has incredible athleticism, he also has a very balanced physique as far as his back versus his chest goes. He's not bodybuilder build, but he's very balanced and very athletic looking. We want Michael to not be rounded at his shoulders, but in a neutral position at his shoulders. That's going to help him not impinge with those push-ups and pushing exercises. Also, something to add to his push-up uh, regime would be like an incline push-up. That would be a great supplement. A little less stress on the shoulder, in my opinion, because arms are closer to the side. That pec has more of an advantage in pulling because it's closer to the ribs, and that's going to take some pressure off. So maybe, you know, one night a week or two nights a week, maybe we just do an incline push-up instead of a regular push-up. And it's also very aesthetically pleasing because it works up the lower chest, and that's something that obviously looks good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. 
Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We appreciate your views. I know that everybody can't be as big and strong as Michael here, but if we're smart and we use science with our training, we can get maybe close. And with that, guys, that'll do it. Love you. Bye.